In the worksheet copy formulas, there's a formula in cell B4. As I double click it, you can see that it subtracts the two cells above it. We need to use the same kind of formula in cells C4, D4, E4, all the way across into June. And similarly, in column H, we've got a total here that, using the sum function, tabulates the six cells to its left. And we want to do that for the row below it, and eventually the row down here, which doesn't have the totals in it just yet. There are many, many times when you've got a formula for one cell that you'd like to copy either into adjacent cells rightward or downward. And there are any number of ways to do this, but by far the easiest, the most direct way is to refer to the button in the lower right-hand corner of the cell that has the formula that you want to copy. That button, by the way, is called the fill handle. As we hold down the left mouse button on this fill handle and drag rightward, we simply want this formula copied into the adjacent cells. And you can see immediately the answers are correct. Of course, you'd want to verify this by either looking in the formula bar or double-clicking to make sure that the formula got copied in the way that you would want it to be copied. Copying a formula doesn't mean copying the formula exactly. What we're really doing is copying the relationship. This formula subtracts the two cells above it, we copied it to here, it subtracts the two cells above it in the same way. We see this all the way across. And similarly here, we've got a function in cell H2. Once again, as I double click, you'll see that it's adding the six adjacent cells to its left. This time we want to drag that formula using the fill handle downward two cells. So we get totals here as well. In cell I2, is a formula that calculates the average of the first six months, and we want the same kind of calculation in the two cells below. So we'll simply drag from the fill handle downward in these two cases as well. And that's by far the most common way to copy formulas. And it just seems like almost any time you're writing a formula, you need to copy it into adjacent cells. So we use the fill handle and nearly always we're dragging downward or rightward, occasionally in the other two directions.